Let's get real, guys. So a few years ago, a story was going around about one person in our church. In my friend group, we heard these stories. We did nothing to stop them. We actually even continued by theorizing and saying all these different things about this person. And we didn't really know this person. A few years later, I actually became best friends with this person. And I realized that how much gossiping can actually affect someone. Because this person almost left the church. Because they were like, how can people who say they're loving, caring, say these things and believe these things and not even come to me? How can they add their own things and keep pushing on this gossip around and say that they love Jesus? Does God really care about what we say and gossiping that much? Yes, in Matthew chapter 12, 35 to 36, it says this, A good person produces good things from the treasury of a good heart. An evil person produces evil things from the treasury of an evil heart. And Jesus says this, I tell you this, you will be given an account on judgment day for every idle word you speak. In his letter to fellow Christians, James, the brother of Jesus, describes our words as a little tiny spark or flame with the destructive potential of a crazy fire. Now that's not actually gasoline, it's just water. If it was, I would be toast right now. But that just explains the incredible power and negative impact of gossiping in our lives and in the lives of those around us. This is a really important topic in the Bible. I was in a car with one of my close friends and we were talking about a pretty sensitive topic. And I was kind of frustrated, so I was venting. I was talking about this person. I can't believe they did this. Do you know what they did? And all that stuff. And I was kind of mad, so I felt justified in what I was saying. My friend looked at me and said, Hey, Fope, I do not want to be a part of this. I do not want to be a part of talking about other people's secrets or problems that I can't even confirm and I don't really care about. Fope, I don't want to be a part of gossiping. And I was like, excuse me? I don't gossip. I mean, all the other people do. I don't gossip. But I realized that I had a problem. And that friend pointed it out to me. <sighs> you guys might be like, Fope, that's a pretty tough friend to have around. And I would say no. Anthony, my friend, I actually really admire him and really trust him. And here's why. Because at that moment, Anthony stood up for people that he did not even know. He stood up against gossiping about them. I realized that how much more this person, he would stand up for me if people were gossiping about me. I wanted him more in my life because he demonstrated integrity. Here's a challenge. And you might be like, wow, this is hard. Well, following Jesus leads us to places that are hard. What does it look like to live a life where your words uplift people, encourage people, and challenge people to love more? Love you guys and hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Thank you.